Hello, monsters of Bound here, and welcome back to Stellaris and the Israi Authority. Last episode, we incorporated the Synthoid Incorporators. A little joke there to get it started off with. Very nice. Yes, we have incorporated the Synthoid. They are, are, are they're a little robotic guard dog. Um, they're not. They're not fans though. They don't like that. Uh, relative power of subjects is a huge deficit uh, because they're not actually that weaker than us, but we have forced them into subjugation. But that's okay, because uh, if they try anything, we'll kick the ever-living stuffing out of them and make their transistors regret ever we rebelling. A new technology. Thank you, David. Uh, yes, so there we go. We've got genome mapping. That's going to increase our growth speed. That's very nice. Uh, what do we have? Oh, we could get the heritage site. So physical reminders of how far we have come. Instill a reverence for past achievements and bolster ambitions for the future. I think that's going to be a good option. It's also... Not that long to research that, that'd be quite nice. We've only got three months left on the Physics Lab 2 as well. We've also finished, what was the other one we finished? Cruisers! We finally got cruisers, excellent. And I think I'm going to get the Plasma Thruster. An advanced form of electronic propulsion. Plasma thrusters afford ships greater sub-like speeds and manoeuvrability. Yes, we're going to do that, very nice. It looks like there's a few planets to colonise up in this little arm or this little end of the galaxy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my survey ship to El uh, Eglor and I'm going to send my construction ship there as well. I'm going to construct a uh, star base there, frontier station, to block off that area and then I'm going to try and colonize some of these worlds. I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Sounds like a good plan. Um, I think I might start colonizing some new worlds, maybe set some um, into um sectors potentially yeah i did go through and check all my planets just to make sure they're all growing nicely um i really I, I need more physics research i've got enough engineering and society but physics research is really suffering at the moment um do i have anything to help with that i am building some more research centers there's a physics lab one that we can upgrade there that'll be uh, that's helping a little bit. Uh, the fleet and Ilsai are heading to the location of the temple here. And our science ship is currently researching some of the debris that we generated in the Synthoid Incorporator space. Well, technically our space now. They just do what we tell them to. Go. The LAS Leopak has entered the Eton Stellar System and its crew report the stellar object, not unlike the shrine, the untold is indeed orbiting the star. Excellent, we need to get our um, science ship over there. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is... The fire rate plus 15% would be very nice. The happiness would be nice as well. I think what I'm going to do is go for the Great game. That's going to increase unity output 10% per neighbouring rival. So we're currently getting... where's unity? 29. And we're still getting 29. Okay, well that's... Don't we, oh, because we're not actually neighbouring yet. Not quite. Soon, though, soon. Uh, we're not rival with the Synthoid Incorporators now. Obviously we're friends with them. So maybe we want to rival these guys. There we go, we will rival them. Is that going to increase our unity? What did it say it was going to do? Uh, right, traditions. Unity output increased by 10% per neighbouring rival. I'm sure we do. We neighbour them, right? Oh, there we go, 35. Ideal. And it will grow once again once we once we clash these borders together as well. It's a bit it's a bit difficult to see. We're all kind of the same colour now. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see where the borders are. But never mind. Uh, so the fleet has reached Etten Stella and there's nothing else they can do. So let's send them back to repair. They can actually repair at a, at a Synthoid Incorporated star base. A new because um, we are technically allies with them. Although obviously they're our little 
little pets now, but we are going to send them back to our space instead. So physics lab two is done, and we've got lots of tech we can research here. This is all stuff we stole off the Synthoid Incorporators after fighting with them. So I think I'm going to get the shields. Do I want shields? I think I want shields. Um, yes, we're going to get shields. So that's actually only going to take 14 months, thanks to all the tech we nicked. And it should be speeded up even faster once our science ship starts researching some of the debris. Xenomongrels have declared war on each other. Oh, the Krillian Directorate and the Jonas Colonel have gone to war with each other. Interesting. They're equivalent. Their fleet power is inferior to ours. Naval capacity equivalent. Technology level equivalent. And the Krillians are equivalent in all. So their fleet power is stronger than the uh, than the Jonas Colonel, which I suggest means that the Krillians are probably going to win out, but I might be wrong. We shall see. Governor Farah has leveled up already. Good job, Farah. Roab was, was a star, but you are a quickly rising star in the Israel, you know, go governments. There we go. Uh, so we got shields already, ideal. Excellent. So we finished off that. Let's grab Cold Fusion next and let's upgrade the fleet. So we can actually. Um, we do that. You know what? The, the next rank of. That we'll wait until the next rank of reactor is ready because it won't really hurt us to um, do that. Let's go and repair the fleet. That'll be fine. And our transport fleets will merge you. There we go. And I think what we'll do is we'll land you on Israi Prime. I, we don't need to land them, actually. We can just enter orbit. That's fine. There you go. Just orbit Israi Prime endlessly. Okay, so we analysed the, the debris. So we've got cold fusion power, shields, plasma thrusters, all that kind of good stuff. Excellent. And our survey ship is surveying Eglor there. And we're going to build a frontier station so we can block off that that, that body there. It'll also grow, grow our borders a little bit more, so that'll be good. And traditions, we're now going 49 months for the next tradition. Implant malfunctions. As part of our observation efforts on the forum, abduction teams have surgically installed brain implants on a number of tight try etch test subjects to track them and monitor their behaviour. Unfortunately, due to a manufacturing flaw, many of these implants have malfunctioned. Oh, God damn it. That are now having an adverse effect on the behaviour of our subjects. There have been a number of suicides and at least three episodes of violent hysteria. The staff of our observation post have asked for help in rounding up the remaining subjects and removing the implants before there are any more incidents. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, hello. Um, the Rontor Ancients, they're a stagnant ascendancy enigmatic observers. Okay, so these guys are basically very, very ancient. They're an ancient civilization that has shrunk. Their, their technology is far in advance of ours. They're sort of like the Vorlons, basically, from Babylon 5. And so, greetings, Israel. You are in no doubt, as you no doubt know, we, the Rantor, are dedicated to the study and com conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We have studied your species and determined that the Israel Authority is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best to ensure the continuation of the Israel species should the worst befall your empire. We would like to acquire a part of your population for endangered species preserve. We will conduct a special reservation that will perfectly mirror the natural habitat of your species and its population, we will, and will be well taken care of and protect them from all harm, so you will not have to worry on their behalf. So, what do you say? Will you contrib contribute to our preserve and safeguard the future of our species? We will never surrender our population to alien hands. I don't care if you're displeased. Go to hell. Where are they? I haven't even met them yet. Oh, there they are. So yes, so they're, 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 this had better be good. So what are they? They're the Rantor, thrifty, con, uh, conformist, quick learners, strong and conversa conversationist, conversationist, yeah. Conservationist, that's the word I was looking for. So we can see their planets are there. They've got cradle, brother and mother. And I think one of these will be the preserve is there. Do these guys have ring worlds? Okay, these guys don't. Some of the fallen empires do have uh, ring worlds, but these guys apparently don't. But um, I think, yeah. So this is the preserve. 
so I think this is a planet that houses alien species. They kind of want to look after other aliens. That tends, that's tends to be what they, they like to do. Uh, but obviously, that's very nice, but uh, we don't like them, so they can go to hell. Uh, right. Where's our construction ship? All right, it's coming. That's good. Let's uh, build a frontier outpost. It's a Havol science ship. We have mastered a new technology. Excellent. Cold fusion power is now ours. Fantastic. I think I'm going to get power plant. Oh, do I want? I mean, we've got a lot of energy coming in now. So that's fine. Um, maybe shield capacitor? Or improved deflectors. That will be that's a lesser rank. So we don't necessarily need it, really. Um, let's get shield capacitors. That's 52 months, but I think it's going to be well worth it. And uh, we can clear out design and do that. There we go. So we've got... got 90 shields and some armor as well that's all looking pretty good uh, do we want that I think I just have missiles on you actually that's fine and uh, that ship's got 180 shields now that's fantastic and we wanted to upgrade this one as well there we go excellent and we've also got cruisers so we can actually build cruisers now. What do we want? Um, I think I'll go for medium broadside. We don't need any point defense. Uh, let's go for artillery core and let's do that. There we go, that's our cruiser. So an all missile gunboat. There we go, that's what we're gonna call it. The Inshal class cruiser. Fantastic stuff. Uh, we should probably build some of those, shouldn't we? Um, well, I am going to upgrade some of our science centers while I think of it. We need to build an Isracon there, and we're also going to build a mineral processing plant there. That'll be fine. Good, that's that planet filled up. Let's upgrade some of these. We've got quite a lot of minerals coming in, so this will be absolutely fine. Um, we've got quite a lot of energy on this planet, haven't we? I think, I mean, we've got quite a bit of food anyway. I think, I think I'll build a military academy and then I'll build a power plant here. And, I, mean, I don't want you there. Um, can we move you? Yes, we can. Why don't you go there? Oh, you can't. Um, how about Who's someone... Okay, you move there. Yes, resettle. Then you can go there. I said you can go there. There we go. And then I can build an Isracon there, and then we can build a mine there. That's all good. Lovely stuff. And I think that's going to be absolutely fine as it is. Yep, good. Debris analysed. Excellent, so that's a debris there. So pl uh, plasma thrusters, subspace centers, that's all good. And I think, oh yes, we're going to go to the Etan Stellar System, research the project there. And I also wanted to remove the mal malfunctioning implants as well. We'll get around to that. There's no rush, it's just mass hysteria and uh, suicides. I mean, and it's aliens, who cares? We have mastered a new technology. The Nahar Democratic Union has declared us rivals. Well, that's fine. We've built the heritage site. We've got the heritage site. That's excellent. That will be a good upgrade there. And again, there's absolutely nothing here that I really want. Um, I guess edict, uh, army upkeep, combat training, a more extensive training program for new recruits includes realistic combat scenarios preparing them for the field. Yes. Do that. Reduced cost is always going to be a useful. How do the synthoids feel about us? They are starting to trust us, so that's, that's good. I'm not going to release them, they're ours. The construction we have ship mastered doing. a new technology. Oh, blimey, another one. Plasma thrusters now ours. Ooh, um, okay, we could get droids. Cold, heartless, uh, well. Upgraded robotic workers, these units have an expanded movement range equal to that of their most organics. Their neural processes have also been greatly uh, improved. Uh, 
that will increase our mineral output. Um, and we could get space torpedo. You know what? I want droids. I love R two D two and C three PO. We want some of them. System survey complete. Slightly camp droids. Um, bear fruits. Eth eth ethnic changes. There have been sweeping changes in the way the primitive qu uh, quetilium since we began ex aggressively observing members of the species all over bear bear's fruit. They. The hatred of our abduction shuttles have made them extremely mistrustful of anything they consider foreign, while at the same time strengthening the bonds they feel towards their own culture and species. Interesting. Yeah, so uh, we're basically making them really paranoid. Okay, I'm just going to send them on uh, uh, just automatic exploration. Construction yeah, do that. complete. Oh, I was going to. I've got that. Res I've got some research things to do in here as well. I was going to do that. Um, Construction oh, no. complete. No, don't. Just ca carry on doing that, and afterwards we can send you to um, tile blocker cleared. Do that. That's fine. Let's see what other people think of each other. So the Haval Commonwealth are well loved, unfortunately. Both the Nahar Democratic Union, Imari Confederation, oh hello, complete. and Tithian Administration love them. Um, that's 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 not good for us because they're right on our border. Anyway, so the old god shrine to the Persepitant. Science officer Bugu has reported back with the IS car mass finding at the Percipient's shrine. They recognise early on that a text in some kind in some iconographic script is inlaid in the walls, heavily distorted by the layers of translucent lacquer. Initial attempts to unscramble the text relying on the raw processing power of the IAS Car Mars computer to reconstruct the text from plain images proved fruitless, as it was simply too distorted to place in any known lingual, lingual family tree. Nexus crew of the IAS Kamas attempted bombarding the lacquer with light of varying wavelengths and intensity, but no beneficial re reactions were observed. Bogu apparently considered physically separating the lacquer from the inlaid text, but realised that the strange glyphs would doubtless have been made misshapen to begin with, only to assume their proper shape when viewed correctly through the lens of the lacquer. Science officer Bogu was about to call the mission a failure when looking up as they irritably placed around the edges of the circular space, they realised that that the distinct lines of cohesive text were momentarily forming before their eyes before melting away only to be replaced by new lines. Not long after, they had the ceiling, walls and floor imaged in a spiral pattern. Text from other shrines could help us piece it all together. Fascinating. So, Old God Revelation. The complete doctrine of the gods, for that is what we recovered, what we've recovered texts have to be regarded as, dwarf the fairy tale scraps upon which the old Israel religions were founded, is a shocking, rever a shocking revelation revelatory as it is revolutionary. With only a little bit of creative interpretation, it is clear that the people of Israel Prime were meant for great things guided by the strong hand of a religious leader. Our path to one godhood our, co our path is one to godhood, but our path is littered with prophecies unfilled and sins born of ignorance. Redemption is emperial. Emperial. Uh, suppress the findings. Knowledge is power, secret knowledge is secret power. We could monetize the findings. Some of the wealthier Wealthier fair corporations have caught wind of the affair. Um, faith corporations and are very interested. Or, but what we could we learn from this, regardless of the veracity or validity, validity of the sacred text? The fact remains that we share religious concepts with some older, unknown spacefaring race, or we walk in the footsteps of the divine, and we start the religious renaissance, shifting empire ethics towards spiritualist unity. Gained is six hundred and seven. Um. Okay. Do we want to be spiritualist? I mean, how do we, I mean it could be an alien trick. I mean I did say it was like another built upon another. Yeah, I I I think we need to suppress the findings. Because it's aliens. We can't deal with aliens. They're aliens. We're going to suppress the findings. Bury them deep.
no one is ever to know. Okay, so we finished that. Let's go and deal with these implants while we're there. And then we'll head and do some of the uh, anomalies that are still in our empire. Xeno mongrels have declared war on each other. The Nar Democratic Union and Jonas Colonel have declared war on each other. Well, interesting. So the Jonas Colonel is now fighting on two fronts. That's not good for them. They're probably going to end up dead, complete. which is a shame because they're about the friendliest faction that we had nearby. So, uh, oh well. Easy come, easy go. Construction ships almost finished the frontier outpost. Xeno mongrels have declared war. On oh my each god, other. it's all going on. Prime eradicators have declared war on the Emirati Confederation. Where are they? Okay, there. Interesting, because they're not a very strong faction. I wonder if they think they can win that. So their inferior fleet power, equivalent naval capacity and equivalent technology level. And they have equivalent fleet power, but inferior naval capacity and in inferior technology level, which is interesting. So I'm not sure if the Prime Eradicators can win that fight, but... um. Hey, as long as the aliens are fighting each other, they're not fighting me. Construction complete. Special product complete. Implants removed. Abduction teams from our observation post above Le Forum have worked in concert with the crew of the IS car mass to quickly gather the tri the tri, tri etch test subjects with their faulty brain implants. The observation post surgical staff replace the implants with functional versions and the subjects have been returned to the planet's surface. As an added bonus, science officer Bugu managed to extract a wealth of data from the removed implants despite their defects. Good job. Okay. Let's go and research that one. And the construction ship has finished the frontier outpost. We now control that space. That's very good. Um, I'd quite like... There's an alpine world there. It's size 18. How much influence have I got? Four. Why don't you go and survey that system? I might build another frontier outpost just to claim that space as mine. I want to uh, start... Col I want to terraform these worlds and then colonise them. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot. We we finally built the finally researched the next rank of the Unity building. So let's upgrade those. Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade all these as well. Uh, what's that? Engineering. Let's build engineering there, and we'll upgrade that. That's going to be great. Upgrade that and that, and that and that. Let's build a research lab there. Get some more unity coming in. We have mastered a new technology. 29 months army upkeep reduction. Good. Um, naval capacity would probably be helpful. We're currently at naval cap. So having that would probably be helpful. Uh, tile blocker. I mean, leadership, leader lifespan 10 years might be good. Um, you know what? Yeah, vitality boosters. Because uh, poor Grand Marshal Urba is 82 now. She's going to pop her clogs any day. And she's skill rank four, which is great. So we need to we need to keep her around. Complete. Some pirates on our borders there, but you know what? I'm they can they can stay there for all I care. And our borders are now touching along with the the Havol. How do they like us? They do not like us. They do not like anything about us. They absolutely loathe us. Um, that's that's not great. Construction complete. But they are equivalent, so they're not they're not a threat at the moment. I don't think. System survey complete. Uh, yes, let's build a frontier outpost there.
with a science ship. You're doing that, that's fine. Let's go and do automatic exploration. You are, yes, the the um, cast mass, the, the car mass, is uh, doing some... Oh, hello. Uh, Vertan Brig is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed there by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines definitely chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. Uh, we're going to image them for the archives. And we're going to research that one. Off you go. Do that one. So the galaxy is filling out now. I'm concerned that the Haval are going to create a federation which is going to involve the Hythians, the Imari and the Nar, and that will create a very powerful block right next to us. Um, that would be very, very bad for us. Especially because the Haval do not like us. Okay, our research is looking better. Physics research is looking a little bit better. Still not great though. Uh, alien barracks. The silhouettes discernible from orbit are indeed buildings, and closer inspection reveal them to be an ob obvious martial nature. While abandoned for some time, though very recently on a galactic timescale, science officer Boo Boo um, believes the, si the secrets of an alien tactics may yet be exhumed from beneath the dust that covers the decaying barracks and looted armories. A special project has been issued to study the remains. Situation log updated. Thank you, David. Uh, yeah, go and uh, research that one, I think. Uh, can we do that? Yes, there you go. Good. I'm really enjoying this game, actually. Uh, sometimes Stellaris can be a bit... I think still, how much you enjoy Stellaris does depend on how how the game turns out and because it is all random you you can end up I mean, for example if i was a peaceful nation and i was surrounded by other peaceful nations that's quite a boring game um but playing as a xenophobe and i've got this sort of like block of potential allies that, get, that potentially might construct a federation right on my border that's that's a threat we've got some prime eradicators there they're going to throw some interesting things into the mix we've got some synthoi uh, some synthetic races nearby so it's actually turning into quite an interesting uh, little game. Um, we've got the droids, fantastic. We've also built a robotic assault army and a robotic defense army. So that's going to be good. Cold and heartless killing machines designed only for war. They pursue their objectives relentlessly and are impervious to the shattering effect of poor morale. This so often plagues organic combat units. And we get the droid. And I think, I mean, we could go for carry operations, but they're really, in there. Uh, let's go for building speed plus 25% assembly patterns, rapid iteration in construction stimulations to determine the optimal component assembly patterns for each building project ahead of time. Good stuff. I think that means the Isracons become droids? Yes, so they automatically get upgraded to droids. So we've automatically got uh, an increase in our minerals, which is quite nice. Very good. Special project complete. So this is the alien barracks. Science officer Bugu thoroughly xeno historic thorough xeno historical analysis of the military installation on Lurg Narquam 1A has yielded a few tangible results. The base was constructed before the planet turned completely barren, but it's unclear if it was currently inhospit in of its current inhospitality is a result of armed conflict or some more peaceful or even natural process. What can be deduced from the strategic and the strategies and tactics in armed conflict conflict does not appear seem to have been advanced in our own. On the upside, Science Officer Bugu claims to have drawn much inspiration from the alien remnants. Really? It's a bit weird. We don't wanna we don't wanna like aliens. Oh. The small astrometric lab on our on, on our observation outpost orbiting the forum has been has detected a class 4 asteroid on an incoming trajectory. Unless action is taken, it will impact the planet's northern hemisphere with enough force to cause an extinction level event. Our mission of passive observation would typically prohibit us from intervening, but many of our scientists are arguing for an exception in this case. To do nothing would mean to condemn the tri etch civilization on the forum to certain death. A difficult situation. Uh, so we've got an asteroid heading towards the forum here. Um, However, we, we don't really like aliens, do we? And we're just observing them because it's, you know, fun. Uh, oh, bears, fruit, eth 
ethnic changes. Several of the addiction, abduction teams stationed on the observation post above Bear's Fruit have apparently been using the thrusters on the shuttles to burn large circles and complex patterns into crop fields belonging to the primitive Quetillians that are indigenous to the planet. The shuttle crews have been severely reprimanded for this prank, but the crop circles appear to have taken on some sort of religious significance for the natives. A new religion has been formed based on these patterns and is gaining popularity among the Quetillians at an alarming rate. Interesting. Okay, so, I mean, the triets here are basically, and they're at the early space age. At some point, complete. they're going to to reach to reach space, and at that point, they are potentially a threat to us. So, actually, by just letting the asteroid hit the planet, it's just going to deal with a problem for us. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to leave it. I mean, maybe they'll send some some miners up to in a, in a spaceship to to blow it up before it hits the planet. Bit of bit of Aerosmith going on in the background there. That'd be nice. Yeah, maybe. I mean, probably not. They're, they're all going to die. That's fine. Uh, not particularly bothered by that whatsoever. Right. Everything else fine. Good. Uh, the Rek Thalar civilization encounter. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien proto civilization on Fan Axed in the Poa system. Our probes show that the Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a ruder rich spoken language, but do you yet see any evidence of metallurgy or written communication? Interesting. There they are. They're porcupines. Xenophobic porcupines. Oh, authoritarian xenophobic porcupines. Okay, well, there's that. That's, um, that's fairly interesting. Can we terraform a planet with people on it? No. Uh, well, maybe we can. Oh, to terraform inhabited planets. So we could technically terraform it with people on it. That would be hilarious. I say hilarious. It'd be it'd be vaguely entertaining. Um, Construction complete. Of course, I was wondering why it looked like we could colonise it, but actually it's because droids can colonise any world. Um, but I'm not... I'd, I'd prefer to terraform it, to be honest. If, if we needed to settle them. I mean, eventually we will settle all these planets, but we want to terraform them first. That's the plan, anyway. Incoming transmission. Ah, uh, what now? A research agreement? No, go away! The asteroid hit yet? No, it's a way off. That's fine. Construction complete. They've got some time to panic and uh, and riot and all that kind of stuff. Good. The construction ship has finished, and uh, we're going to build some mining stations there, along with a research station. And let's build some mining stations there. That will be good. So we've got all that system under our control. And we're still getting some nice influence coming in, so that's all good. Um, I think. I mean, that alpine world. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is terraform it. Go turn it into an Arctic world. And then we will colonise it. And then I think we will go for... Um, yeah, if we colonise... I oh, mind you, that would then put us in the... Hmm. Okay, I'll have, to, I'll, have to, I'll have to think about it. Uh, let's up. Great. We that. have mastered a new technology. Excellent. Shield capacitors. Oh no, someone died. Who died? Who died? Uh, we'll find out in a second. Let's get subspace sensors. Sensors that detect the subspace fluctuations left in the wake of travelling starships. Their ins uh, sensitivity and range is greater than that of a graphitic sensor array. It's only going to take 23 months. Oh, okay. The probability conundrum. We have gotten a report from science officer Bugu. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star Baldoon. Most peculiar. It should obviously not be there, yet somehow it has managed to find its way into close orbit. A special project can be issued to investigate the container and try and deduce how it ended up there. A conundrum worth investigating, or all questions don't have worthwhile answers. You know, a conundrum worth investigating. Situation log updated. So let's send Bugu to have a look, work out what that thing is, sort it out. Oh, who died? It was Admiral Ilse. Oh no, Admiral Ilse. Damn it. Uh, that's fine. We're going to have to get some new blood. Um, who do we want? Let's get uh, Ibna. Admiral Ibna. He's a scout. 
sensor range and sublight speed. Let's get him in there. He's our new admiral. Fantastic stuff. System survey complete. We have mastered a new technology. Oh, we got tradition. Excellent. So I think what we're going to do is finish off supremacy. So we're going to get war games. Uh, so a strong war game tradition has taken root among the senior officers of our fleets. Whether the games be computer simulations or actual exercise in space, this has encouraged our admirals to think outside the box, resulting in numerous tactical innovations and new strategies. Yes. Okay, so that's given us uh, an increase of fire rate by 15%, which is really good, and this unlocked one Ascension perk. So Ascension perks are these things here. So once you've completed a tradition, you can give yourself a Ascension perk. So we get things like World Shaper, Instantella, Domination, Border Range Increase, um, Terraforming Speed, Technological Ascendancy, One Vision, Governing Ethics, Attraction, Mastery of Nature. Um, I think what we're going to do do is I mean, imperial prerogative would be quite nice as our civilization continues to grow so its beating heart must also expand more systems will be placed under our direct control but on the other hand technological ascendancy extra re research would be nice later on we can go things like the flesh is weak synthetic evolution mind over matter transcendence um, galactic force projection so lots of stuff there uh, we could potentially go for. Um, I mean, plus ten percent research speed is really good, but I really would like more core systems. But I, I think, I think um, technological ascendancy is probably a good first option. Technologies that would have been indistinguishable from magic mere generation ago and now within our reach a new age of technology has begun yes yes that's gonna be our first ascension perk there we go we're only two more away from our second 57 months excellent so there we go we've expanded slightly we've got our first oh society research what do we what do we get the lifespan excellent that means uh what should we get next? Um, atmospheric manipulation? Uh, ooh, no, that's, ooh, uh, mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for atmospheric manipulation. So, uh, humidity regulators and chemical dispersal units are the first step towards a fundamentally altered atmosphere. So we've got extra, extra life for our leaders, and that means Urbar is going to live for even longer! Excellent. She doesn't know who she is or where she is anymore. That's fine. Uh, the asteroid that was heading towards the Forum has been destroyed before it could reach the planet's surface. Really? Oh my, the Synthoids turned up. For frick. God damn it. Did, did I ask you, Synthoids, to do... No. So the asteroid that was heading towards the Forum has been destroyed before it could reach the planet's surface. What fragments reached the atmosphere burned up safely before they could cause any harm? Aside from having witnessed what must have been a spectacular meteor shower, the primitive aliens of the tri civilization have no idea how close to extinction they just came. Nor will they. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks a bunch. You jerks. Oh well. I guess we'll have to deal with them when they manage to... Uh, reach space never mind uh, so there we go uh, so that's where we're going to leave it for this episode so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time